Thank you for tuning in to H O L L Y W O D. My name is Elise Hollywood Evans, and I am your Forever Joy Girl, and welcome to the Forever Joy Life Show. Black Lives Does Matter. I'm devastated as a parent of two black young men. All this news that I'm hearing about Danye Jones from Ferguson, Missouri, hung in his own backyard. His mother, a young activist. We have to do something about this. It takes a village to raise a child, and it's going to take a village for us to do something about this situation. So please join me and others in getting this word out and doing something about it. It's got to stop. I'm Gloria Gigi Ford. Black Lives Does Matter. Since, since the Mike Brown um, uprising, a lot of young black activists spurred out of that movement. Yes. And um, within like the two to three year span, seven of them will come up dead. And wow. The authorities are mostly deeming them as suicide. So Danye was um, the son of one of the young activists. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, he was found hung in his mom's backyard um, on a tree with a sheep. And um, yeah, it's just ironic how um, all of a sudden, you know, just all these young activists are coming up dead. Mm -hmm. like a you know, if you Google young black activists right. in Ferguson, Missouri, it's a list. <clears throat> a couple of them found dead in the car, uh, shot in the head, car on fire. Donye was at his mom's house, you know, at home. Right. So your your nephew, Donye, his mother is an activist. And she was an activist around the Michael Brown case? No, her well, situation? Right. Well, yeah. a lot of activists spurred out of that movement. Okay, so gotcha. she was one of them. She's, you know, very vocal and um, a community activist. And, uh, you know, she stands up for justice uh -huh, uh -huh. for anybody. And uh -huh. um, so she would be out on the front line uh -huh, um, uh -huh. voicing her feelings about when you know things that were going on in just as far as injustice in in, in the Missouri criminal justice system right right <clears throat> so um, excuse me yeah and Donye was her son right right so uh, so I read so they covered his story actually I, it was in the Vogue Teen magazine uh, New York Times uh, the Roots covered the story. Mm -hmm. um, what other publications covered the story? Mm -hmm. Which other ones covered the story? Oh, so many, so many people, so many stations covered it. But uh -huh. the, but it, it was a controlled narrative. Right. The stories that that those stories that were covered by all those different media outlets, uh -huh. that the narrative was the police officers' narrative. You know, how right, right, right. It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't Danye's mother's narrative. Right, you know? right. She, she, is the best fit a person to tell you about her son. Right, right. So they got ahead of it and automatically just said that they deemed it as a suicide. Well, I don't get how you can just deem something suicide if there's no autopsy hasn't been done, uh -huh, uh -huh. there's no investigation haven't uh -huh, been completed. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So if, you, if you're not a medical examiner, right. Um, so, it's just so, but this has happened to other activists, but they were presumed, I mean, this he was presumed uh, suicidal, but we also understand that there were other people within the years, I mean, because it's been a couple of years now. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, other people have um, come up missing or dead who were, you know, speak vocal about the injustices in the criminal mm -hmm. system within Ferguson, Missouri. Most of those but, activists were under 30. Under Some of 30. them maybe a little above 30. Yeah. But they all speared out of that Mike Brown movement, and right. uh, it's just weird that now seven of them are dead. Right. Yeah. So Danya, he was 24 years old, and he was um, found um, on October 17th, right, in his mother's mm -hmm. backyard. What's his mother's name? Melissa McKinney's. Melissa McKinney's. Mm -hmm. Now, from everything that I read, that she there was nothing. There was nothing suicidal in his life, in his thoughts or anything. He was a happy young man, looking forward to the future. What's some of the things that he was going on in his life? He had just started a real estate uh, business of his own. Mm -hmm. um, he 
he was very family oriented, goofy, mm -hmm. loved his mm -hmm. mom. Mm -hmm. They were very close net, close, mm -hmm. close relationship. Right. Um, he was happy. Mm -hmm. He was a good mm -hmm. kid. Mm -hmm. And um, they had a lot going on for so He was actually excited about the new business, the the, the real estate business that he had started. Mm -hmm. so, good guy. Yeah, I just and, and, and you know, and my condolences to the family, mm -hmm. to to everyone who's been affected. Um, from violence, to especially uh, p police uh, violence and brutality, and it's just we live in a climate right now. It's just with fake news. We live with the administration of "Make America Good Again," and we mm -hmm. understand what that really means. We uh, we live uh, with the Colin Kaepernick Kaepernick uh, with the kneeling and you know right. um, and the protests and. It just feels like it's an evil force that's going on around, right about now. Well, yeah, I don't it, know because what it, is. it feels like that because it is, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, people will want the people that it's affecting the most in urban communities, the brown people, mm -hmm. to take it in silence and mm -hmm. act like it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. it's real. You right. Know? Um, so that that thing that you're feeling is because it's actually happening. Yeah, and but, in so many urban communities, right. they can't fight back. Right. So you, you, you find them being complacent because they don't have money to get an attorney. Right. They don't have money to um, have a thorough investigation. Mm -hmm. They can't hire people. Right, right. So right. a lot of them, they just suffer in silence. They just accept the status quo. And... I, you know, I get it. When you don't have, it, it's the funding. When you don't have any money to, to fight back. And it's hard to fight back against an injustice system that's supposed to be injustice for all. But it's not justice for all. It's only justice for a certain group of people right. out there. But when you're a brown person, it's they, they'll shoot you because uh, to them, our lives don't matter. And black lives do matter. People want to say all lives matter. But in particular, we're the ones who are being an annihilated. Right. You know, and, and, and until people start standing up against it, it's going to be that way, yeah. you know, unfortunately. So, we're, the, the purpose of keeping Danye's name out there is to keep it in the news, keep it going, don't let it die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because, and don't let it be forgotten, you know, right. because it's a, it's, it's, it shouldn't be. It could be. It could have been my son, it could have been your, mm -hmm, your mm -hmm, kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, it's something seriously, seriously wrong and defective when you got that amount, even if it was just one young activist, you, right. know, it, uh, you should be able to exercise your freedom of speech right. uh, without being bullied or feel threatened right, by right. You know, or you, you, the way you feel. Right. Dialogue is always good, but you know, to just flat out snuff somebody's life out because you don't like uh, what they represent or what they believe in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is I, I feel like we're back in the 60s it's all crazy. over again. It's and, crazy. And Selma, Alabama, mm -hmm. you know, it's. Yeah, it really is crazy, and, and you know, and it's you, real. It, 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 and people need to wake up. I mean, this is it's, it's well, happening. You, you know, you it can't is, keep brushing it under the rug. You no, can't. You can't. Keep, you, you can't. And it, it, I just sometimes, as a, a black person in general, just feeling picked on. You know, I was driving down the street with my um, son, my two sons, and my nephew, and we were pulled over because the cop thought I was a teenager, and I said, "Hey." I don't know why you're pulling me over, but I live down the street. And I showed him my driver's license, and he let me go. Mm -hmm. But he pulled me over for no reason, because I looked young, and I had three black men in a car with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, That's uh, common. Right, at my mother's funeral, I had African drummers. At 2 o'clock in the daytime, they called the cops, and they came to my mother's funeral because we were playing African drums, and we didn't even play it longer than 15 minutes. We can't even walk down the street, speak our, speak our minds, protect ourselves. This is just it's, it's insane, and this is why I had to sit down and talk to you a, a, about this. Mm -hmm. You know, because it affects all of us. It does. You know, just, you can... It's shot driving while black. Right. You know, hands up, don't shoot. Right. We go to the store just to buy some candy bars. A nine-year-old gets shot, you know, playing with his own little toy gun. Why, you know, why target us? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I don't even know what to say. So I just feel like I just want to be in tears, you know, right now. Because when he talked about, um, when they said it was a suicide, and we, they said, you know, his mother knows in her heart, she knows her son is not a suicide, but the whole suicide, when you mentioned that to me, I lost a child to suicide. Mm -hmm. I understand that. And um, they say, sometimes they say there are no signs. There are signs. Mm -hmm. there, there are signs. And what you're saying is your niece didn't see any signs with her, right. you know, right. uh, about that was something that they automatically deemed it as. Right. You know, that's before any thorough investigation mm -hmm. was done. Mm -hmm. That's before any autopsy report was given. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, 
and, and it's and it's you know, that was like that for a couple of the the other activists. One couple of them was shot in the head, found burnt in cars. They did no suicide. So wow. it's something. It's it's go to Donye's story, Google it, and then yeah. it'll pop up. And then they also have a GoFundMe page. I encourage everybody to go to that uh, to 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 Donye's GoFundMe page. So that's Donye D A N Y E Jones, and the GoFundMe page is to hire an investigator for this. Uh, to raise situation. money to hire a private investigator to uh, thoroughly investigate exactly what happened to Donye. Because mm -hmm. uh, his mom and the rest of the family, we don't believe that it was suicide. As a matter of fact, we rebuked it mm -hmm. refusely. Uh, he was a happy kid. He had a lot going on for himself. He had a lot to look forward for, to, and mm -hmm. uh, he was excited mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And there, uh, you know, the, the other ironic piece to it is that it's, this is the seventh of seven of the activists. You right. know what I mean? So that's, wow. that's, that's not by coincidence. Not at all. Not at all. So, yeah. Um, I'm encouraging everybody to just stay woke and mm -hmm. uh, keep his name out there. And we're doing everything we can to. Um, find out exactly, mm -hmm. you know, what happened and get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, um, as a mother, I, I, I really feel, because I understand what losing a child is like. Well, I lost my stepson, but I helped raise him for 15 and a half years of his life. So I, I understand I cried for an entire year of my life every single day. And the pain just, it hurts. And it just never, just really never, never goes away. Never goes it away. never goes away. Mm -hmm. So again, I, I pray for all the families um, out there. As Jeff said, says, stay woke. We all need to stay woke. Black Lives Matter. Say his name, Donye Jones. Donye Jones. I'm Elise Hollywood Evans, your forever joy girl. Thank you for tuning in.